Alright, so we're about to get right into episode 10 of Girls Planet 999, where we finally get to watch the creation mission performance. <laughs> Now, last week was, I don't know if it was just me. I'm sure it wasn't just me. That anticipated the uh, creation mission performances to be done last week. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't. But we got probably the best episode to date. At least to me it was. I know some people commented on my reaction and also let me know that it was as well. That they thought it was one of the best episodes as well. Uh, also, let me just say right now, I apologize because episode 8. Episode 8. If you watch early through Patreon, you were fine. But everyone else, I forgot to make it go live for almost like about five days after it was supposed to. So to make up for that, I made episode nine come out immediately after I edited it. So there was no early access, pri like privilege as in like joining Patreon and that being the perk of getting it four days early. Um, I just released it right away to make up for making y'all wait five days to watch the episode eight. This one is gonna go back to normal. Uh, so, listen, that, that was a blunder that I didn't even, I, I could not believe I actually did, honestly. <laughs> but enough talking, obviously we've had our interim uh, ranking so far. As of right now, I don't know where things are, I've been voting. Uh, last week, like I said, we had the, the little episode. Um, and one thing I didn't mention, uh, that I did start talking about on Twitter, that I did like joke about when I was reacting, saying, yo, are we going like, well, I didn't joke about, I was kind of serious, like, who are the, what other members' houses are we going to? It was weird, but we only got to go to Diane's house and everything, you know. And I, we obviously, I like Diane. She's in my top nine. I don't need her to get pushed by Mnet, but they're pushing her anyway. Um, and that was just like, it was a bit weird. It was a bit weird. And I knew it was a bit weird. It was just like, I was like, when I was reacting, I was like, it's, it's like when I, when I held back from speaking, I was like, if I speak in episode, was that the end of episode? It was either at the end of episode eight or episode seven. Um, that was just like, let me not, right? And it's one of those things that I like, just like riled in my head because I watched a bit more like um, just thoughts on things and I rewatched uh, the episode again. And I was just like, bro, this was a bit weird. And not a bit weird. It actually was pretty weird to only go to Diane's house and um, them making it very obvious and not even hiding that they're pushing Diane. But like I said, she's extremely talented, bro. <laughs> like... It's it's like the Boris situation with me. I'm just like, yo, can we? If we're not gonna go to anyone else's house, can we just go to Boris? Can we go to Boris? Let me push Bora, please. Push Bora, and I, I, I do not see. I do not see it. You're not pushing anyone. You just, we just go in the houses. Because <laughs> obviously, selfishly, if they push Bora, I wouldn't say shit. You know, <laughs> I mean, I would, I would, because I, I, I still would, I still would. But it's just knowing that it was a bit weird. But regardless, yo, uh, Diane's in my top nine. Regardless, so I. I just wish there were a little bit more like family things with all the other members and not just one person, you know? But we move. We move. And we are now going towards, uh, like I said, I'm assuming, I'm not assuming, I saw the tweets of the performances from Mnet, so uh, I know the performances happened. I saw I saw the, uh, the thumbnails. So uh, I saw the, the Utopia thumbnail. That's the one I saw. Let me stop talking, y'all. Let's get right into episode 10. <laughs> So, this is me post watching the episode, obviously, if you're still here. Uh, hi, welcome back. If you watch to the end, you know that this part is here. Um, the performances. Obviously, if you watch my reaction to the performances, I did mention that I would try, I make no promises to put the performances on YouTube, but it will probably be an L and you'll probably just have to resort to watching the reaction anyway. Um, it would be just strictly the performances though, and it'll be after the four days early to Patreon stuff. Um, but the performances, they were all incredible, even the ones that had like the hiccups and people that were like had mess ups in them, like uh, Yanning and Snake. Um, and uh, fortunately, uh, Xing Xiao in, um, in Utopia. And the nervousness of Che Hyun as well in Utopia. Uh, apart from that, everyone else seems to go almost flawlessly, as close to flawlessly as you can get. But even with those mistakes, I feel like those performances were just so good 
my favorite obviously anything Bora does is my favorite um, so I love that but if I was being like okay I do know that there was mess ups and the two that didn't get like didn't people didn't really mess up in were actually fucking amazing and that was you plus me equals love and shoot shoot being one of my favorites uh, songs from the get-go when they were first introduced when they were first teased to us uh, I was shoot in utopia they absolutely killed it I'm so incredibly proud of, uh, incredibly proud of Eugen uh, with what she did how she was able to get the group to come together and practice and do things properly um, and then hitting her notes and actually just killing it on stage uh, and then you got um, Meepus Meepus Love which actually ended up winning spoiler alert, but you watched it um, they won and honestly it's not like it's not like it's undeserving bro that stage was so good to me the standouts for that stage were um, Kotone uh, Mashiro Mei and um, and Yemun, Yemun. They all did well, but those four just like something about them for it is just stood out to me like crazy. I really like uh, Koton is rapping, um, May vocally, um, Machido's vocals there as well, and Yamu's vocals were ridiculous. I fully enjoyed that. I love the episode. Obviously, like I said, they won, and I'm if you know me from the get go since before I was able to vote, and obviously I was late to voting. Uh, I've been I've been head over heels over Bora and Yurina. That has not changed, and I'm gonna show y'all because I'm gonna vote while I'm here. I'm gonna vote right here. Um, so you can see who I'm voting for. Not to influence y'all, but if I could influence y'all, I'd tell you to vote, fucking vote for Bora, okay? Because I got no faith in the people voting to keep her on the show, even though I feel like she deserves to be on the show. Um, but I, I get the strange feeling that if she doesn't make it through vote, she's gonna get a plan to pass. If she doesn't get a plan to pass, it would have to be that someone that the, the Masters really wants to debut is, and didn't make it into the top because of voting. Is not there, but Bora should be in a top 18. Let's just say top 17 plus Planet Pass, right? Um, that's just how I see it, but also I am incredibly fucking biased. Now, at the time of me doing this, I have no idea what the uh, Planet Pass, no, not the Planet Pass, what the um, final mission actually is. By the time most of you that end up watching these videos watch this video, um, I will know, just know, because you guys will get access to this for like the public for anyone to watch on Monday after the show um, but people who obviously are part of the Patreon who you can become part of the Patreon if you'd like to um, get to see it the day I edit it which is as of right now I'm planning to finish editing this the day of the episode so um, if you're watching this on Monday or Tuesday or just like the Monday or Tuesday after the show aired I definitely know by now but as of right now like it looks like the um, the the mission, the OO mission, is like voting for a fan cam from the very beginning, if I'm remembering correctly, if I'm getting it correctly, the way it was explained. But I don't know, I, as of right now, like I said, as of right now, immediately after watching the episode, the day of the episode airing, I don't know what benefit that has. But apparently we find out tomorrow, after the current voting closes, which is when the uh, the people who got the benefit from Me Plus Love can get... Uh, We'll be getting double the votes of the votes in this period. So, um, I don't know what the final mission actually is. Um, is it that the people with the most likes, because you gotta drop likes on the original fan cams from the performance. And what what does that mean though? Like, I don't know what it, what it means. I don't know, like, it also seems weird because there's a lot of people with a lot of support who aren't, well, not, I'm not gonna say a lot, I'm not gonna say a lot, not a lot. There's people with a lot of support that are not in the top nine, that if this impacts it that heavily, will switch a lot of things, you know? I think it'll switch the top nine, not necessarily that people have perceived that's gonna be at the end, but there's some people who are decently out of the top nine that could get in if the votes on these fan cams mean that much and i think that will be a little wild i'm not gonna lie i if that is the case like this is me not knowing i'm not a fan of it i'm just saying that much i'm not a fan of that i don't know if this has been a thing in previous produce things um because like i said i was late to post 101 like well late like they were already done uh for uh iy and i watched that show and i never finished the other so i don't know how things go uh, this is my first time here. This is my first time watching a, a survival show as it's happening. Like every survival show I have watched, the ones that finished, have been already aired. 
for years, or at least a year. I find it weird if and can voting is gonna count for that much. But you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make all the accounts you gotta make. Um. Anyways, moving on. You know what? I kind of forgot. I, I hope I touched on whatever I meant to talk about at the end of the episode because uh, I kind of forgot it right now. But um, I am gonna vote at least in front of y'all. So uh, just so y'all see who I'm voting for. Does it really matter if y'all see it? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But this is essentially where my final votes are going because I'm pretty sure it's the same. Vote for three, and it's just that the people from the benefit mission get we're gonna are gonna get double the votes at the final count that they receive in this period post post episode. So uh, it's third round of voting, and yep, you get to pick one of each. And I'm gonna show you. I am picking Bora. I don't care. That it seems hopeless. I am voting for Bora because she deserves to be on the show. Um, she deserves to debut. In my opinion, that is how I feel and that is how I will continue to vote. Now, when we get to C group, this is where I get to the point where like maybe my mentality is a bit fucked, right? I have voted the same for as long as I can remember on the show. I'm pretty sure I, as long as we've been doing three, I've been voting the same. And that's Bora, Yurina, and Shalting. Um, there's this part of me that, and I, this is why I think this mentality is fucked. Xiao Ting's doing so well, she's gonna get in anyway. Let me vote for someone else who I really want to get in as well. I don't know if that's the best mentality to have. I don't. Because I've literally seen you did not drop to like five, right? Um, from being number one. And obviously she had like that week where like things didn't go too hot. Um, but she hasn't actually like done poorly. Um, she still dropped from one to then two and then to five, if I'm correct. At least the interim voting was five. Um, I, and seeing as how Mashiro won, she's going to jump even higher. And this, the part of me is like, I don't want to vote for shouting. And my mentality is like, she's going to do, she's going to get in anyway. And I really like her. And I want to vote for Yami. Because I want Yami to get in. Now she didn't have... Her, her performance wasn't too high. She had like the, the blunders in Snake. Um, but I still feel that when you consider vocals, when you consider rapping and dancing, all three, she's near the top in all of them as for as it pertains to people left on the show, from my personal opinion. So I kind of want to vote for her instead. And I think <sighs> I have so much confidence. How well she did, how well Shouting did, and how Yanning seems like like she obviously had like I said the blunders. Um, I want I'm going to vote for Yanning, and hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass because if for whatever reason, which I don't I don't see it happening, if Xia, if Shouting does not debut, which like I said I two thousand percent don't see happening even without my one vote. I just hope millions of other <laughs> Planet Guardians are doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Because then that's when this fuck this this is a fuck up. This is a fuck up when everybody thinks the way I'm thinking. So I'm doing this thinking. I'm the only I'm like of the few people doing this. That is so confident in some people debuting that you're gonna vote for someone else to try and get them. So that my vote is gonna go to Yanning for a C group and J group. I cannot change for it from you. Now. I just my soul like I'm more confident in shouting debuting and scared of Yuri not slipping with how she slipped so far. Um, but I still think Yurina should be there, you know? I still think Yurina should be there, so. That's my three. I'm submitting my vote. And voting complete, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, you don't leave the screen. I forget you don't leave the screen, now I press next. Um, a loading universe, okay. Take your sweet ass time, all right. And they didn't even, they didn't even take me to the screen, bro. Let me click so I can show my participation completed. And those are my picks. Oh, my screen dusty. I ain't see that, yo. Let's pretend I never showed you that shit. Okay, we good. I never showed you that. Look. You can see my GoPro in the back. But that is my three. I am content with my three. Like I said, shouting would be my C pick. I'm just going with, like, I am uber confident that she's debuting anyway. Like I said, a fuck, I think it's fucked to, to do that. But I am going with that just because I really want Yanin to debut. So, uh, hopefully... 
hopefully all three get in. You know, she was just outside. She was 10. Bora has been on the verge of elimination every fucking elimination, it feels like. Don't know why, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? And then Yuri Nat is Yuri Nat. She's amazing. And I love her. And, I love her debut. and she will debut. She will debut. Anyways, hopefully the the things get cleared up by tomorrow for me, which will be Saturday, the day the voting closes officially, and the OO mission voting opens. Um, but by the time if you see this on Monday or after, I will most likely 100% already know. But feel free to tell me in the comment anyway, because. Uh, who knows, maybe I didn't know. <laughs>